This is More Knowledge, More Wealth with your host, Gabriel Shaheen. Gabriel is a certified financial planner and a registered investment advisor at Falcon Wealth Planning. This show does not intend to provide personalized investment advice through this broadcast and does not represent that the services or securities discussed are suitable for any investor. Investors are advised not to rely on any information contained in the broadcast in the process of making a full informed investment decision. Now here's your host, Gabriel Shaheen. Good day, this is Gabriel Shaheen, Certified Financial Planner and your host of More Knowledge, More Wealth here on every weekend talking about all important topics of personal finance. My job is to go over the knowledge you need to increase your wealth. Now, to the listener, you can always reach out to myself or any one of our colleagues here at Falcon Wealth Planning. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird. Or visit our website at falconwealthplanning.com. That's falconwp.com for short, where you can visit the Knowledge Center and have so many great content out there, including a direct link to our YouTube channel, where we have well over a million views on just so many top videos that you've asked for. So if you want to have something new on there, go ahead and send an inquiry or something we want to talk on the show to radio at falconwp.com. That's radio at falconwp.com. And if you want to get any of these previous episodes, go to podcasts, iHeartRadio, you name it, Spotify, you can get these episodes. Now, I'm the president of Falcon Wealth Planning. We are the only non-commissioned true fiduciary, folks, where we talk about all important topics of personal finance. That could be where you are today, how retirement looks like, talk about investments, estate planning, insurance, taxes. Folks, you name it, anything that involves a dollar sign, we can help you with, which is why we're offering one to two meetings, one to two hours of our time to help relate this show to your specific situation. We would love to help. Give us a call. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird. Or we can answer those questions, give you one to two hours, one to two meetings of our time at no cost, folks. We would love to help. Now, a lot has gone on since last episode. I feel like last episode, I was over here talking about just kind of simple aspects of finances. And then all of a sudden, boom, we had a assassination attempt on our president and then now we have our current or our previous president donald trump and then we have our current president uh joe biden saying he does not feel fit uh or comfortable uh going and trying to be president for the next term to go up for re-election so looks like it might be kamal harris we'll see how that goes but just crazy things and i'm thinking like man like how scary is it that our uh, former president, Donald Trump, uh, had an assassination attempt on his life. So, I mean, we, we prayed for him. It looks like he has a really strong, speedy recovery. It's been a couple of weeks now since that's happened. Uh, and so now he looks stronger than ever. It seems like a lot of support is going around him. Uh, anytime you see support and unity, that's always a good, positive thing. Uh, and then, of course, you have uh, Joe Biden's getting criticism in his administration along with uh, the Secret Service uh, agent who's now uh, since uh, uh, they've stepped down, right? They have resigned. And man, she was getting really beat up uh, uh, in Congress on uh, Monday the 22nd. So just crazy things that are going on right now in the world. It just had me thinking, like, just I was like, what should I talk about, right, in something like this? And I thought, I mean, this is, it sounds like a terrible subject, right? And the reason I'm bringing this up I had somebody reach out to me about this uh, through that radio at falconwp.com. And they said, you know, what would you recommend? Like, I, I wonder, it, it was a long email, but it, first off, it's like, imagine your life, you know, flashing before your eyes, right? There's like reports that all he was talking about, is, where's my shoes? I need my shoes. Like he was on the floor, um, you know, because just like what's going through your mind, right? And so, uh, so I mean, I... You know, these near-death experiences really can, can affect somebody. And I've had a few times in my career where I had somebody after a near-death experience and just, just came out and just said, hey, they wanted to thank us just for putting him in position. Because one of the things that didn't go through their mind throughout those near-death experiences is, oh, my gosh, is my family going to be okay, right? you got a million things going through their mind. And I think just kind of looking at it, and just talking to people that have had, uh, 
not so much near-death experiences. Let's say people that have been diagnosed with a illness, young people, maybe in their 40s, 50s, even 60s. And some of the just the, the things that go through their mind, for example, are, I just, it can't happen yet. I still have so much to do. I still have so much on my plate. Nobody can do it except for me. That's some of the commentary that I hear. And it's a, a sad thing to go through. And of course, I'm relating this. I feel like in such an ill manner to the assassination t- uh, attempt with the, the President Trump. But this is an important topic to discuss because there are some items here uh, that is just just important, whether you are uh, working, whether you are self-employed, whether you are retired, whatever the case is, I feel there are core elements here that are necessary in you making sure that if death is facing you, God forbid, are you positioned in a manner where you or your heirs or your family are going to be safe, are going to be comfortable, are not going to be able to lose anything? And I'll give you a few examples. For example, uh, number one, if you have a trust set up, this is important because people say wills are important. They are right. I mean, if you have a trust, they call it a pour over because everything just pours over to what you wanted in the trust. Unless you specify this painting goes here, this heirloom goes here, this uh, ring or watch or uh, whatever the car goes to this specific person. But in regards to estate planning, I mean, if you're married, it's quite simple. It goes to the spouse. If you're widowed or not married or divorced. And if you have kids, it can be very complicated. In addition to that, it goes to probate. So we know this. I've had episodes about this before. Just because you have a will doesn't mean you avoid probate. It still has to go through probate. It still has to hear if there's any debts out there. People have to come and have claims against you if, God forbid, you pass away and it becomes public. This is why they make them public. So estate planning is number one. And I've had situations where we've seen people that have passed away that's just really left a mess, whether it's for their kids, whether it's for their parents, and just they could be living in different states and they have to travel to other states or appoint somebody there, which costs money to deal with somebody's uh, estate matters. It can be very frustrating. So this is something a trust can help avoid that by simple execution by here's the trust, send it to your legal, please process and uh, you know, the payments or access to the accounts. Another thing is just proper insurance coverage, right? So you could be in your 30s, your 40s, all the way up to 60s and 70s if you're still working, and just making sure that if, God forbid, something happens to you, the last thing you want to be thinking about is how are my my spouse or my kids or my family, how are they going to be able to live without me, my income? Forget the emotional, the psychological, Right. Forget that side of it. We're talking about financially. Like who's going to make the mortgage payment? Who's going to pay for the kids to go to school? Who's going to pay for my spouse who's taking care of the family to raise quality children? Are we going to be able, are they going to be able to maintain their lifestyle? So just basic insurance needs are crucial in maintaining the success level of the family in general. So these are the things that you have to really start thinking about. You hate yet again to do this on the back of the president was just a former president who was almost assassinated, disgusting to think about or even to bring up. I'm just telling you, I received an inquiry on this and I thought it would be important to discuss. By the way, folks, if you're just joining me, you're listening to Gabriel Shane, Certified Financial Planner, and your host of More Knowledge, More Wealth, here in every weekend talking about all important topics of personal finance. And I just want to talk about if a premature death happens, are is your situation, is your family prepared for that? I'll take it a step further. We talked about trust. We talked about insurance. What about succession planning? If you have a business that's actually worth something, like What happens if something happens to you? What if it's someone who's a lawyer or a financial advisor or an engineer, like an architect, a CPA? You can't, a spouse cannot just take over that business to be licensed through the board, through the state, through government agencies. You have to be licensed. So you may have a business, a practice that's worth hundreds of thousands, potentially millions of dollars, and now it's a fire sale. How are the staff supposed to operate 
not knowing or someone not having access to what it was a complete dictatorship which most companies are by the way where the owner also is the payroll specialist only person who has access to the bank accounts these are important concepts for what will happen you put all your money into building this business and now something happens you know what i mean Succession plans are important because those are legally binding documents that are enforceable. Then those are in conjunction with potentially a, a operating agreement or corporate bylaws that reference specifically that the company can still do business. Maybe you want your family to hold the rights of the money. Maybe you want your family, your surviving spouse or kids to serve on the board where they stay in complete control. And more importantly, have access to the multi-million dollar business. Succession planning is important. You know, I've seen this in multiple times where people, the stress of people get people sick. And the compounding effect of that, now they're sick and they're stressing out even more saying, I can't die. There's still so much I have to do, which compounds their sickness, makes them even more sick. I have seen a direct correlation of people who have succession plans, insurance plans, estate plans intact, where when they do get sick, God forbid, or in an accident, where they can solely focus on themselves because the business is running itself. This is the conversation of personal finance, right? It's more personal than finance. It's not about how well did your investment account do? What, you comparing it to the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, the Dow? You know, you're also investing in other uncorrelated assets. Uh, you may be doing better or worse than the index you're comparing to the S&P 500. Are you invested just like in large cap companies? No, you're not. So don't give us a hard time if you're doing bad. And don't just praise us saying, man, you're so smart for overperforming it. We don't have a crystal ball for it. It's being properly diversified to make sure you're doing what's in your best interest. And that's what a partnership is. So we hold each other accountable. We make sure that it's not just the investments, right? Do you want targeted approach? Do you want us to try to time which index is going to be best at what time? Sure, there are portfolios around that. Do we like doing that? No, because you know why? We look either really smart or really stupid. And I do not like looking stupid. Folks, you need help with us. Give us a call. We'd love to help. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON. Like the bird or visit our website falconwealthplanning.com that's falconwp.com for short where we can help put together a strategy for you and just assess your situation make sure your family is fine and i can't tell you what that feels about the stress level just leaves you could focus just on your job your focus your focus on the task at hand not you have a million what if scenarios in your mind when we come back i'll talk about the other million scenarios that are out there. I'm not going to talk about a million. I'll talk about probably the top three or four or five that are out there and why people try to simplify their life the older they get. But more importantly, sometimes the most successful people try to simplify their life so they can focus on what is most important to them. And for most people out there, it's their family. So when we come back, we're going to discuss more about that and ways that you can learn from successful people like yourself. We'll be right back after a few words. This is Gabriel Shaheen, Certified Financial Planner, your host of More Knowledge, More Wealth. That's on every weekend. We're going over all important topics of personal finance. We're going over retirement planning, making sure you're prepared for retirement, social security and strategies, real estate, taxes, avoiding them now and in the future, investments, reducing fees, commissions, and so on, insurance and estate planning. Folks, we are offering a free financial assessment that you could take advantage of. We have offices all across Southern California, including the Inland Empire. Give us a call to take advantage. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird, or visit our website, falconwealthplanning.com. That's falconwp.com for short. Enjoy the show. We look forward to serving you. Welcome back, folks. This is Gabriel Shane, Certified Financial Planner, and your host of More Knowledge, More Wealth here on every weekend, talking about all important topics of personal finance. And today we are talking about just these what if scenarios and if something were to happen and if you are protected and the first series here the first segment we discussed talking about just a few core elements such as making sure you have trust in place will uh, business uh, succession plan 
in place and proper insurance. And these are all important things because it simplifies life if, God forbid, something were to happen. The last thing you want is your heirs to deal with the headache, the madness, the annoyance of things that could have been easily preventable with proper planning. I get it. Business owners, people, general successful people are thinking of themselves, and those are the ones that normally have that, that have assets that are trying to be protected. They're not thinking that they're ever going to die. They're indestructible. That's why they're so successful. They're thinking forward. They're being aggressive with it. I get it, and I appreciate it, and quite frankly, I respect it. I can relate to that very well. But you got to think always about the unknowns, and the unknowns is the most healthiest, successful person can get hit by a bus tomorrow. They literally can. I mean, you see all these problems going on with airplanes. I'm trying to scare you over here. We see people in cars and we see people getting in sick, getting sick. So it's just focusing on yourself is going to be important. And just it's an insurance, right? Having a trust is an insurance and it's making you in control of what you want. A business succession plan is the same thing, let alone actual insurance, right? Life insurance specifically. And doing an analysis on that to see what makes the most sense. You know, if you make $100,000 a year, well, how are you going to replace that income of $100,000 a year? If it's with insurance, you can't have half a million dollar policy, even a million dollar policy, maybe a $2 million policy, right? Because that will get you roughly 5%. Typically, you want 3 to 5%, uh, 3 to 4 ideally. But maybe there will be Social Security and other things come back. Maybe house will be paid off over time, you know, so maybe it could work out, which is why financial planning is important to answer those questions and those variables. But I'm here just talking about what else is out there. What there's a reason people, the older they get, they try to simplify their life. For example, some people have multiple residents. Some people have residents in different countries. Are your kids going to be able to deal with that? Is your spouse going to be able to deal with that? Do they even speak the language potentially in that other country? People will take advantage when they see blood on the streets. Literally, they go after it. They see a sale. They become, I don't want to say killers. That's a, a bit harsh, but they become very aggressive when they see opportunity. So you want to look to potentially simplify your life. You might have business interests, equity stakes and certain private investments that nobody even knows about. These are the times you have to document that. Put that on a net worth statement. Put that on something. This is why people work with the professionals because the professionals are good at doing the legwork if, God forbid, something happened. If there is income that's generated from that, if a sale is going to happen, if they don't prematurely try to just say, let me give you your, your original investment back. We've seen that happen a couple times. We've seen a situation where a doctor made an initial investment of $10,000 and now that investment is paying out $60,000 or $100,000 a year five years later, and they're getting a ridiculous a lot of amount of money, right? Fifty to $100,000 a year on a $10,000 investment. And then the original, and then the person died, the doctor died. It was three doctors who did did this. And now they're trying to pay out the third, the, the spouse, $100,000. They're like, I'm like, no, that's, are you crazy? That That's a terrible investment. Let me read the agreement. They didn't want to give the agreement. Long story short, they probably spoke to an attorney and they said, listen, you can go to jail for this. And it ended up selling and they got over a million dollars. You get what I'm saying? Like, do you listen? Those are fantastic situation, right? But at the same time, you don't want to have to deal with this type of duress, especially if somebody's passing away because you're trying to simplify your life. What if there's multiple properties, residents, countries, other investments you're trying to clean up? Last thing you want to do is having to deal with this insane amount of responsibilities and work. This could be multiple cars, right? Maybe the car collection is the spouse who passed away versus the one that's living. It could be a private jet that they own where they were, a, you know, private aviation where now they don't want to travel as much. Maybe it was for the other spouse. What are they supposed to do with that? That thing has carrying costs. You know what I mean? So it's just, and let's not talk about the, the boats or any other toys that are out there. You just want to be able to take a look at your situation and try to simplify it as much as you can. But you have to document all this. It has to be in a centralized space. If you don't have a financial partner, you're going to have to do it yourself. This is part of us where we can help at least steer you in the right direction, where we can give you one to two meetings, one to two hours of our time, where we can put this together and tell you what you need to do, folks. Give us a call. We would love to help. Our phone number is 855 963 25. 
26. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird. Or visit our website at falconwealthplanning.com. That's falcon, WP.com for short. And there's an inquiry right there on the front page of our website where we'll reach out to you. And we can help put together an assessment for you to answer the questions that you have. In a situation like this, it can make a lot of sense where you just have a breakdown of if, God forbid, something were to happen, you have the two spouses in there or one person by themselves, whoever it is, and you can put something together where at least both people know exactly everything that's going on, where it is, and they have a centralized document where they can point to and say, this is where my assets are. Because it can get complicated. And then maybe you should put those asterisks of, oh, you have to talk to this partner or this third party or this attorney, or you have to talk to this, or, or you have to get this license, or whatever the case may be. It could be a bit complex, depending on the life that you're in. Typically, the nicer of a life that you have, the more complex it is. You ever hear more money, more problems, right? Because if we have a job, W-2 job, right, we are limited, right? Sure, there's some people out there making hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions, but it's limited. There's very few people out there that really have significant net worth that are not self-employed. Most complications come from people who are self-employed. People who have outside investments, right? They took the risk. They lost five to 10 times of an investment, but they made one. But that one could have made 100 to 1,000 X return on their money. Now, you and I don't care for that. We don't like that kind of risk. We don't need that kind of risk. But other people, that's what they've done. And they're comfortable with that, right? Because they have so much of a surplus of cash. By the way, folks, if you're just joining me, you're listening to Gabriel Shaheen, Certified Financial Planner, and your host of More Knowledge, More Wealth here on every weekend, talking about all important topics of personal finance. And today we're just talking about the big picture. We talked about the assassination attempt of President Trump. And man, could you imagine if he would have passed away now? He's a smart person. He's in his late 70s. And he and he believes in attorneys, right? So he probably has everything set up. He has his kids working in his organization, which is by far one of his largest assets. And you have to think on something like this in a situation like that, somebody who's worth billions of dollars, that of course he had everything set up. Of course, naturally, right? Now, with that being said, you've seen other successful people like singers, athletes, who have passed away without estate plans. Michael Jackson, for example. You had Aretha Franklin. <laughs> You've had people where their estates have been gone to uh, probate. Like when Michael Jackson's kid uh, was young and if he would have passed away before they were an adult, uh, it wouldn't be his Janet Jackson that would have taken over the kids. It was Diana Ross. How do I know that? It was a public document that everybody was able to see. And it could take years and years and millions of dollars to settle these estates. Howard Hughes, one of the most famous ones of all time, a $40 billion estate, took decades in court, got split up amongst 22 cousins of his. So it's just making sure, number one, you want what you want today and you can always change it. You get to call the shots. You don't, you're not holding the white flag waiting for death when you set up a state plan. You're doing it for protection of all the hard work that you've done and to protect those that you care about, that you love. I mean, for me, I, it's crazy to think that I've set up all my estate documents, all of it, almost 40 years old, and I have it all set up. I can't tell you what just relief that is because you know what? I do own a business. I do have businesses. And, you know, there is some sense of just comfort knowing if God forbid, my wife would hate it that I'm talking about this, something happened that will be okay. Sure, there's complexities. My wife can't just take over the business. She'll have to get licensed, right? And is that really the person we want taking over the business? Maybe she sits on the board. Maybe there's people with more experience than her that needs to run it. But are they going to take advantage? Do they need oversight? You betcha. So there's complication in everything. These are the things that you need to look at depending on your situation. And if you are blessed in a situation where you are financially stable, you're financially sound, and you're working in a W-2 where they don't have to worry about taking over a whole company, and all that you need to look at is income replacement, which is in the form of insurance, then that's a blessing in its own right. Because more money, more problems. And those with more money 
that have more problems, that are doing it by themselves without professional help, what the hell are you doing? Like, think about that. You got the more money part. You got more problems. How about you do what any logical person would do and look to get help and guidance? It's crazy to me, those who don't. Now, there aren't a lot of those people, but there are a lot of people that are still like that. I just had somebody tell me they have a building worth $200 million. Where was this told? Uh, This was just recently told. $200 million building. And the person is still the electrician fixing their own stuff wrong with the with the property. They're still, they're like, oh, I'm so tired. And they're going in on a $200 million building. They're still going in there and doing their own repairs. Crazy to think, right? But this is the reality. Some people struggle with delegation. The sooner you realize time is money, right? But no matter how much money you have, you can never buy time. Value your time. Value your time with the things you like to do with the people you like to do them with. Once you realize that, you could love working, but working 80 hours a week is not sustainable in your 60s and 70s, especially if you value time with other people and making excuses that you never have enough time. I think the problem is you. So folks, that was a fast, fast show. I want to thank you for tuning in with me. You can always reach out to myself or any one of my colleagues here at Falcon Wealth Planning. Our phone number is 855-963-2500. 26. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird. Or visit our website at falconwealthplanning.com. That's falcon, WP.com for short, where you can get some fantastic information on our Knowledge Center, which redirects you to YouTube. we got a bunch of views on there, multiple videos, and you can send inquiries so we can make more videos at radio at falconwp.com. That is radio at falconwp.com. And if you want this episode, any one of our previous episodes, You do Spotify, podcasts, and you name it. Folks, hopefully you enjoyed the show. I want you to have a fantastic weekend. Have a great week, and God bless.